Have you ever tried to create a good-looking email design from scratch? Or how about using Tailwind CSS to write your email layouts? Well, if you did, you've probably failed. A lot. And it's safe to say reminding you about it is not a good way to make friends. But I'm here to help. In this video, I want to show you how I create beautiful email templates in just a few minutes and how I use them in my Rails projects. But first, let's talk about why creating a good-looking email template is hard. One of the reasons is there's no HTML standard for email, so different email clients render these layouts differently. While web browsers have come a long way in the past decade in terms of standards and CSS support, email clients, well, not so much. As part of my practical Ruby on Rails course, I recently tried building an HTML layout for one of the lessons I teach. And because I was already using Tailwind CSS in that particular project, I thought I could use it in my mailer layout as well. But that's when things started to get frustrating. You see, the problem with email design is you can't use the same div-based markup that you use in your browser layouts. You've got to use HTML tables. It's like doing web design in the Internet Explorer 6 era. And if you don't know what that is, consider yourself lucky. But on top of that, you have to inline your CSS and there are many small differences between email clients as far as CSS support goes. Some of the most popular email clients go as far as blocking images altogether for security reasons. So the way I see it is you have three options. The first option is to dive deep, create your layout from scratch and use an email testing service to make sure your emails look good across multiple email clients. The second option is to use an email design service and purchase one of their done for you templates. This will save you a lot of time and it's totally worth it if you ask me. And the third option, which is the topic of this video, is a little bit of both. You start with a basic template and you use Tailwind CSS to customize the design. And the magic tool that lets you do that is called Maisel. It's an open source framework for building HTML email layouts using Tailwind CSS. So you clone a starter repository by following the installation instructions on their website. Namely, you create a new project with npx dig git mazel slash mazel and then the name of your project. You then cd into that project and install all the npm packages. Once the installation is done, you can start it up using npm run dev. And this will give you two URLs you can use. Either one works, but I'm going to open up the one that says port 3001. And as you can see, this is like a dashboard for Maisel. But all I want right now is to see the transactional email starter template. So I'll click this link to localhost port 3000 and I'll choose the transaction.html template. And this is what the transactional template looks like. It's not much, but it's a good starting point. And the best part is you can customize this layout using Tailwind CSS. So let's see how that works. I'm going to open up the template code in a text editor so we can change its content. Okay, so as you can see, there's some front matter at the top of the file here and I can change it to say whatever I want. And those changes will be reflected in the browser window. What you see here is an old style HTML table layout with divs and paragraphs wrapped inside of them. But you'll also see some new tags like this Outlook tag and some weird class names like this mso text raise class, which allow you to target specific email clients. These are provided by the Tailwind email variants package, which comes included with Maisel. What's even cooler is you can create a bunch of reusable layout components that you can plug in or out of your various templates. As you can see, there is a components folder here and it currently contains two components. But let's add our own test component just to see how it works. I'll call it test-component.html and I'll give it some content that we should be able to see once we include it in the layout. And inside our transactional.html layout, we can include a component via the component tag where the src attribute is the path of the component. Or you could make this path shorter if you add the path to all of your components in the config file. But let's say you have some content inside of this component tag like abc123. You have access to that content via a content tag inside of your component. Okay, so let's say we have designed our template using Maisel and we're ready to use it. How do we use this in Rails? Well, you can build the HTML of the template using npm run build. Once that's done, you can take the generated HTML from the build production folder and copy it over to your Rails project. In the project I was building for my Rails course, 
course, I've pasted this template in the mailer.html.erb layout. Here, I have a user mailer class with a hello method and a corresponding hello.html.erb template. Inside the template, I've pasted the body of the email and I've added real specific things like the user's name here and the root URL. And I've done that for the layout as well. As you can see, I'm using a link to my website and a generated logo URL. And to see how this looks in the browser, I'll go to slash rails slash mailers and I'll click the hello link, which will show me a preview of the email. So that's how I'm building my Rails email templates using Tailwind CSS. I hope this was useful and if you need help setting up a new Rails project, check out this video here.